this sounds right. Okay. That really sounds right, but let's see. Kind of my music kind of connect with surfing because back home before I took off to Australia, I always do a lot of music and I was in a band and stuff and I kind of want like forget about it. That's why I went to Australia but then you know living in the van you end up meeting a lot of people like who play guitars. So I end up picking the guitar again and I start playing again and then I realized that I love music. But the reason why I was super stoked is because the people that's gonna come there, I didn't knew them that well before the trip. We all were different. I knew from the beginning that we all were different, but I knew we we're gonna have like an epic time. We're gonna connect and then we're gonna like just have that amazing time. We made it to Panish. Now next with you. <laughs> so uh, my name is Sina, I'm 22 years old, I surf and I skate, I live in my van, just spend life living. I make a lot of art, I don't know if you can tell, because it's uh, kind of attacking you from all corners. I used to wakeboard when I was living in Egypt, but since I moved to Denmark, I couldn't really do that anymore. And then I found a high school where you could surf and skate, and that's kind of where I learned how to do these things. And I don't know, it inspired me to buy a van and drive it to the south where there was better waves than in Denmark. And here I am. Living my dream. <laughs> that's gonna be fine. How many boards are on the roof right now? It's gonna be A-OK -okay six. Six boards? A-OK. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Why Alentejo? For me, Alentejo is the, the best part in Portugal. Like, I travel a lot in Alentejo in the past years since like I'm a baby. With my family, friends, every year, normally Portuguese people just got together like a good group and go down the coast. <laughs> I moved to Irisada because my father was a surfer and he wanted to be close to where the waves are best. So I started surfing when I was five and I started going with a coach when I was young. When I was about a teenager, um, me and my father had kind of like a standoff. He would make me go to the beach in the morning. So all my friends were sleeping and I had to go to the beach. 
and I stopped surfing when I was a teenager for about three years. Eventually I got back to it. Uh, but yeah, that's my surf story. Galentejo gives you its own pure way of Portugal, like you still have something that is not so touched by in industry and you know, like it's, it's pure, it's like untouched, you know, and that's something that we need to keep and, and protect, so we need to protect this. I don't know, it's just, it's special in its own way, you know, it's so remote, so raw and I think it's like the perfect taste of Portugal, it's in Alentejo, like this is Portugal. It's so peaceful, in the middle of nowhere, so much nature, is that you're gonna spend the whole week together and the whole week you're gonna share like every moment. Yeah, you connect and you share all the little things that everyone will share. I've met so many people, like on, people that are here on this trip, half of them I already knew. And those people like, I've met all through surfing. So that brought us all together. And here is just like, we just take that same environment we have home and bring it with us on a surf trip. Different character, different nationality, different looking. But we just shared that surfing mindset and mentality. And I remember once we were like having lunch and then we just like have lunch with each other like oh shit, there's 10 nationality around here. I'm Mark, I'm from Germany, I started surfing maybe when I was 21. Two years ago I went uh, on a surf trip to Irisera and until now I never left this place. And always when I went to surf trip from Irisera I really started missing Irisera very fast, after like a few hours. But this trip is the first trip, I'm not really missing Irisera. We're here in such an amazing place, surrounded by people with the same vibe, the same like, purpose, just like to surf and get good waves and get a good time every day. The connection within the people here is so strong and it's more like a, like a family vibe. You do everything together, you go surf, you spend all day at the beach, you have three sessions a day if you want to, like that is the main focus here is just surfing, surfing, surfing. We're all in search for a little peace of mind and uh, focusing on surfing and making friends. Like a breath of fresh air. You're in nature, you're like, you connect way more with nature here because you are, it's everywhere. Like when you drive to surf, look around and you're like amazed by the insane scenery. I really appreciate going to places where you really get to connect with like how the localism in that place is. And sometimes that can be hard if a place is very, very touristy. And there's no like resorts on the beach or, or malls all over the place. And when you walk to surf, you have to go through a dirt road to get there and then you get there and it's just this huge open beach in the middle of nowhere with like sand dunes and just like you, you're in the water surfing you look out and you're like wow this is beautiful. Every day is so simple. 
just everybody just so hyped and super stoked. And it's something that you can't really like replace. say that Alentejo people are like more slow but I think that's because they're enjoying the moment so they don't care you know like they just enjoy every each minute of their life and, and breathe and speak more slowly because they don't have a rush for nothing there's no rush for nothing so I want to be slow too <laughs> There's nothing around, but there's not really anything else you need. There's good waves, very few people in the water. Crazy good vibes. All these things I've told you about just create the perfect environment for it. You get a local surf hostel vibe you used to get back in when my parents started surfing, you know? Dear.